So I'm going to be making some press-on nails for my friend. She requested um, the French tip soap bubble nails. It's like trending. You guys have seen it. It makes my skin crawl personally, but um, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm using the medium square tips from Betty Cora. And of course I had to cut them down because she's so extra. Like all she asks for is short nails and like, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I hate doing short nails. Like, don't get me wrong, like, short nails are cute or whatever, and I've seen some extremely talented nail artists do a lot with short nails, but me personally, I would much rather work on a longer nail. Like, I just, I, like, I'm just not a short nail fan, um, yeah, <laughs> so... I had an attitude the whole time I was doing this set. I'm not even gonna lie to you. But anyway, so I'm using um, the Madam Glam XOXO for my nude because you already know this is the only nude that I really use now. It's my favorite nude. It is the nude, okay? So I'm just applying some on each tip and then I'm gonna use my detail brush and I'm gonna you know, dip it in um, the little bit that I applied on the nail. And I'm literally tracing the um the um what's it what's it called oh my god why am i acting like i don't know my nail terms the smile line oh my gosh it's the smile line i don't know why my brain just went blank like that but yeah so these tips already have a natural smile line going on because they're like pre-buffed and so i'm definitely cheating i'm definitely cheating and i'm just following that line um and then i'm gonna go back in with the gel polish and you know fill it all in cure that for 60 seconds and then i'm going to repeat everything i just did for a second time so it's two coats of the xoxo nude gel so after the two coats this is how it looks and so now i'm using the madam glam no wipe top coat and i'm just gonna go ahead and top coat it now in the original um video the original artist that started this trend um she used acrylic to do this so um she didn't top coat until the very end after she did the whole soap bubble thing but where i am using gel polish um it just it makes no sense for me to like put soap on uncured gel you know and then top coat it like that's like i'm not doing that so I went ahead and, you know, top coat it. And now I am going to start the tedious task, okay, of doing the soap bubble thing on each of these little bitty nails. These little bitty nails, okay? Like just not even enough room to work with in my opinion. Um, but yeah, basically I shook up a water bottle with soap and water and I just kind of squeezed the foam out and then I have to hold these tiny little nails with some tweezers, okay? And then I'm gonna apply some no wipe top coat on the bottom and I'm gonna scoop up some of the bubbles and just put it on there. Just put it on there and cure it. Cure it for the full 60 seconds and I had to do that for every single nail. It was 10 nails in total, but I only did, um, I only ever do one hand on camera, like, you know, like five nails on camera because the video would just be too long and this was literally the same design on every nail like you know it was nothing nothing spectacular um so yeah that's what I did on every single nail and like I said this was very tedious because these nails were tiny and I just feel like I did the most like <laughs> this was this was too much okay this was a lot of work so I hope that my difficult friend is happy with her nails because she's not gonna get these for some time. <laughs> I don't know when I'm gonna be able to send these to her, but yeah, hopefully she's happy with these nails. I'll probably wait to post this video until um, I actually, you know, can get her to wear them. But anyway, this is how they turned out, y'all. This is how they turned out, and this is Miss Nail Holly. Um, she is my mannequin hand. She models, you know, 
all the nails that I personally would never wear. So yeah, this is how they look. And it was cute or whatever. It was cute. You know, my friend, you know, I sent her pictures and she was like, oh my God, they're adorable. I was like, mm, I guess, girl, I don't know what you're going to do with these little these little nubbies but you know anyway let me stop because i know there's people that you know will probably get offended because you like short nails but i just feel like if your nails are short what are you doing okay let me stop anyway so yeah this is how it turned out you guys and so after i did this i got to thinking i was like hold on hold on like i wonder how this would look with an ombre you know like i haven't seen anyone do this with an ombre yet um and if someone's done this with an ombre um that's fine i haven't seen it yet at the time of me making this video i have not seen it yet so i feel like i'm the only one that's done this i could be wrong i'm sure somebody has done this but like i said i haven't seen it so i'm just gonna declare myself the first person to do an ombre with this okay so yeah i am prepping my nails because i'm getting ready to do the betty cora eight in one um gel extension or whatever so i got my betty cora eight in one and i'm gonna apply that to my nail i'm gonna cure that for 60 seconds and then i'm gonna put some of the betty cora eight in one on the actual nail tip and you know press it down and cure that for 60 seconds and you know what i'm going a little too fast because the the footage is not like it hasn't caught up with what I'm saying yet so hold on let me slow down let me slow down okay here we go so yeah I'm applying you know the eight in one on the tip okay like so like that okay and I'm gonna flip it over okay what are we doing what are we doing girl what what are we doing okay I oh yeah I had to cut the light on yeah so yeah i cut the light on first and then i applied the nail so that i could easily just kind of you know swoop it under there real quick and then of course it was a disaster like on camera it looks like things were going smooth but let me tell you something things don't be going smooth okay i just be editing editing the video to make it look like it's smooth but it, it's not it's a mess so yeah i you know i had to buff that out you see that it was like a little the glue kind of like you know flooded a little bit so i had to go in with a buffer and you know smooth it out and do the most to get it flat and i cut the camera off and i did it off camera because it was just too much so yeah i fixed it um but i didn't buff all the way down the nail because you know i want the the ends to be clear so yeah so now i'm applying some base coat this is the madame glam base coat and I'm gonna cure that under my little lamp for 60 seconds and then um, I'm gonna go in with my Madame Glam XOXO the best nude in the world by the way I have a code for Madame Glam and I also have a code for Betty Cora okay so yeah if you use my code um, for Madame Glam it's nailholic35 and you'll save 35% off your entire purchase if you use it so you should definitely use it because times is rough okay save your money just be sure to check out under the pay as you go option and then for Betty Cora um that collection is on Amazon and my code for that is nailholic20 wait no that's a lie my code is 20 nailholic I'll have it on the screen um you'll get 20% off so yeah but anyway what I just did I applied my Madame Glam XOXO and then I kind of fanned out the ends a little bit and then I took the 8 in 1 and I applied it um, and I kind of met where the XOXO ended basically because the 8 in 1 also serves as like a blooming gel um like it does eight different things that's why it has its name so it serves as a, a blooming gel so I applied that to the tips and I kind of fan out the the nude gel um, and I just kind of let it you know do its thing i let it spread out and you know fade into um the clear tip basically just doing um it's that nude to clear ombre so yeah i do that i cure that for 60 seconds and then um for the last layer i did three coats of the xoxo and um for the last one i actually went in with my um little makeup sponge and this is a brand new makeup sponge okay it was fresh out the pack i get them from dollar tree so don't like just just don't don't try me 
don't try me in the comments please so yeah i just you know took the makeup sponge and i buffed it out i've done this several times if you have been following me and you've been watching my videos you you know the technique so yeah after i do that i'm gonna go ahead and apply my no wipe top coat because like i said um where this is gel it doesn't make sense to flip the nail over apply you know soap um and then you know it gets on the uncured gel like you like no you know go ahead and top coat it if you're doing this with gel polish go ahead and top coat it um, because the design is going to be underneath the nail so there's no point in leaving it uncured so yeah i am just making sure that you know it's on there nice and smooth and i'm going to cure that for 60 seconds and this is how it looks it's so pretty and that was bothering me i saw that i don't know if y'all saw that little hump on the side but i saw it i was looking at it the whole time and i was like oh i can't wait can't wait to file that so yeah i had to get that together real quick so yeah this is what she's looking like and now i flipped her over okay but first i had to get you know my soap my soap and you know all of my stuff so there's my little soap and i flipped her over and i'm applying my no wipe top coat from madam glam once again and you know i'm gonna scoop the bubble onto the back of the nail or the bottom of the nail rather um and yeah cure that for 60 seconds and um the first attempt like okay you'll see in a second because hold on okay here we go so you can you see where like there's some gaps right there like I didn't like how that looked so I went in with some more um no wipe top coat and I applied some more of the bubbles and it turned out so much better and even though this design makes my skin crawl still this is actually kind of cute this is actually kind of cute like let me know was this a nail or a fail because i was like okay okay honey and so you know i have to apply some of my nailholic studio cuticle oil because if you're not moisturizing your cuticles you're not welcome here okay because what are you doing we don't do dry cuticles around here stop it so yeah i'm moisturizing my cuticles and i also have a little subscription box okay it's five dollars a month and you get a new pen every month okay i'll have that linked in my description box for anyone that's interested so yeah i'm just rubbing in my little cuticles rubbing it in so that i can give you guys a final nail show so this is how the nails turned out you guys i think they look so pretty like i said it definitely still makes my skin crawl so i don't know how long i'm gonna keep this set on um but this is what the bottom looks like um yeah i think it's cute i think it's cute let me know what you think about it down in the comment section below but yeah guys that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe Thank you.